Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name is Caitlin and I am back in my little studio. Oh, it's been a very stressful few days, but I'm finally back. If you didn't know, uh, my dog was very ill. He's doing a lot better now. So I traveled all the way down uh, to my mum's house to make sure he was okay. He's okay, he's on his steroids. And yeah, it's just a, a waiting game now, a little bit of a waiting game, but I'm back. Um, my baby, you can see in the picture there, he's okay for now. Um, yeah, thank you for everyone's kind wishes and all that jazz. But today, I, let me tell you, I got back at about six o'clock last night. I wanna cake my face in some colorful makeup. I haven't worn colorful makeup in about a week. Um, I wanna sit down, chill out, talk to you guys about the luxury makeup scam, okay? That is my thoughts, that is my opinions, share. Do share, I would love to know your thoughts. You always know, I love hearing what you guys think in the comments. So yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna do today. <laughs> I'm gonna do my makeup with you, just have a bit of a rant, you know? But just before we jump into the video, you know the drill, if you have not already, definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. Oh, I've missed you guys. I've missed you guys. Here we go, let's do this. <laughs> So I have a look in mind that I would like to do and it involves tape. So we know it's gonna be a winged out moment. I cannot find the end of this. But oh, here we go, I've got it. Don't worry, I've got it. So I'm gonna be using my no pan left behind. <laughs> really, my battery wants to die now? Oh okay, yeah, great. Um, and I'm just gonna try and line up some tape. I know technically you're not supposed to use tape on your eyes, but you know what? I've been through hell over the past few days, so I'm gonna do what I want. <laughs> That'll do. Probably not even, but you know what? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm actually gonna start with a shimmer because I always start with the mattes and then I regret my life. So I'm gonna start with Ice Dream from ColourPop, which is like a blue to pinky to purpley shade. I'm just gonna start by whacking that all over the lid. And I'm gonna just like tap it up into the brow as well, just to kind of diffuse it a little bit. You're not probably gonna be able to see much of this. Already oh then. Uh, yeah, you can't, can't tell anything, but you know what, that's fine. Okay, I feel like I haven't breathed in a good week. So this is therapeutic to me. So, luxury makeup. Big fat scam, lads. Big fat scam. And I will die on this hill and I don't care. Because, right, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I'm a luxury makeup connoisseur because your girl's poor, okay? Just a fact. And I cannot afford to shell out 50 pound for a blush and, you know, I'm not, I'm not about that. But I'm judging this based on specifically Morgan Turner, okay? I love Morgan Turner. I think she's so sweet, like, oh, she's just, must be protected at all costs. But she is more of a luxury makeup uh, reviewer here on YouTube. And I watch a lot of her videos. Her makeup style isn't the same style as mine. Um, it's a lot more natural, it's a lot more kind of laid back. And yeah, she reviews very expensive, very expensive makeup. And the amount of times that I have heard her or someone like her say the words, it's not perfect, but like, I still like it and they've paid like a hundred pound for this thing. It actually makes me a bit sick. <laughs> like the makeup industry has got so crazy to me. It is very ridiculous. Are these even? I do not think so. No, they're not, but you know what? It's fine, it's fine. I feel like since the rise of like 2016 makeup era, makeup, especially drugstore makeup has just got so much better that there's no longer really a divide between um, 
specifically drugstore and high end, and even less of a divide between high end and luxury. You know, I would go far as to say that high end is actually better quality than a lot of luxury makeup because the amount of like Tom Ford, can we just talk about Tom Ford? What are those eyeshadow quads? Is it just me? I'm either crazy one. Actually tell me because I feel it. Even just as I sat down to film this video, I was watching a blush declutter from Andrea Miliano. Is that it? I don't know. I like glanced over her name and was like, yeah, I remember that. Mm. Lol. But she pulled out these Charlotte Tilbury like uh, blush sticks and she was like, yeah, these are like $42. And I was like, first of all, first of all, <laughs> excuse me, $42 for like some cream pink in a bottle. And then she's like, yeah, they go on kind of patchy. Um, I have to kind of work with them. I have to do this, that, and the other, but like, they're really nice. And I was like, girl, you've just paid $42 for something that you could get at the drugstore, like Milani, go to Milani. It's, it's fine. Get a six pound one that works. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I was just so offended that my chest was like, <laughs> what? Okay, I'm going in with this blue. It's from my No Pan Left Behind. I've been neglecting this project this month and I have to film an update today. So, whoopsies. No, as I said, I had this look in mind for a while. I've just not had the opportunity to do it because my dog's been dying, but you know what? Today's the day. I would go to say that high-end makeup is now like the big bad boy, you know? It's the one to be. It's no longer luxury makeup. So much luxury makeup as well are like cash grabs from celebrities. There's not much thought there. They're either like Chanel and like Dior. They're fashion houses. They're not primarily makeup companies. They didn't start their makeup company being like, yeah, passion. Like, I'm sure there are some people who work there that are passionate about it. Don't get me wrong. But, like, it just, ooh, it makes me a bit uncomfortable. Okay, I'm going to try and find a little brush. Uh, a little yet fluffy brush. Right, and I'm going to go in with this, like, teal matte. Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to think, like, I had to have all of the luxury things if I was going to be a cool girl. And you know what? I think a lot of it has stemmed from like my no buy this year. Um, I've just, I wouldn't say I'm less passionate about like new releases and stuff like that, but I've just got such a different head on my shoulders when it comes to makeup and buying makeup and just doing that whole jazz. Like, I, I don't know, having this restriction on myself has really made me stop and think about everything when it comes to buying new releases and when it comes to, you know, just spending hard-earned money. Like, I'm getting to the age now where I am thinking about, you know, buying a property or a car or a pet or things like that. And I just, I'm starting to really realise that 42 pounds for a blush that doesn't even work. That's a little bit triggering. I even start to think of it like, that's my commute to work for two weeks. You know, that's when you know you're an adult. <laughs> but um, yeah, like 42 pound, that's my commute to work for two weeks. Would I rather commute to work for two weeks or have a blush that doesn't work? <laughs> like there's so many, I think that's the thing as well. There's so many products like luxury products that just don't work. And Tom Ford, I feel like is such a prime example of that because I remember watching Morgan Turner's um, review of those, there was like a quad and like a few of them came out at once and she tested like three of them in one video and they were all just awful. They were all such bad quality. They were all not pigmented, the colour stories were weird, and people pay, like, I don't even know how much those are, but way too much. I think they're like 70 quid. 
seven zero for four eyeshadows that don't work. <laughs> I don't understand it. I really don't get it. Okay, my camera battery is flashing, even though I made sure that it was fully charged before filming this video. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, run off, do my eyes, and then we'll come back and do the base together. So I'll be back in one second. Alrighty then, I'm back. Um, I did clean up this side because it was a little lopsided. <laughs> Just a tiny little bit, but we're back. We've got our kind of eyes done. I know it looks a little bit weird right now, but with lashes and stuff on, it'll all be fine. I promise. So no one panic. Okay, let's continue. You may notice as well, my skin's breaking out a little bit because I have been a little bit stressed. Just a teeny tiny bit. It's okay though. It's okay. It's manageable. Um, if you guys are new, I've been kind of struggling with my acne journey recently, but... We're all good. It's fine. No one panic. I'm using my Ofra primer just because I like it. And it's in my deck of panning project pan. Oh, I love the smell of this. This smells incredible. But yeah, I said before in this video, since especially um, going on my no buy, I've really been looking into what I buy um, makeup that comes out the price especially because I find so much of the makeup that's coming out to be a ridiculous price right now like there's a cost of living crisis hun you think I can pay 70 quid for an eyeshadow that doesn't work <laughs> check check yourself because I can't afford to put my heating on most days I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that if you don't live in the UK, lucky you. That's all I'm saying, lucky you. Because our government is uh, really setting us up for failure. Like I really chose to move out at the wrong time. But you know what? We're here now, we're living, we're vibing, it's fine. But yeah, let me know in the comments, is there a luxury makeup product that you have found that like you now can't live without and that is 100% worth the money um, and all that kind of jazz because I really, I don't, I've never heard really many people say things like that. I know a lot of people say it about like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, but like I hate that thing. Like I had the e.l.f., no not the e.l.f., the collection dupe for it. I still have it. I just don't like it, but I think that's just personal preference. I find a lot of luxury makeup is also very natural. It's not my kind of makeup at all. Um, so maybe that's why I don't gel with it as much um, because yeah, it is all very natural. It's not there. <laughs> like Glossier especially. I do not understand Glossier like what 30 quid for a water foundation that's not really my job i've watched multiple reviews of glossier um not because i'm interested at all it is not my makeup style it is not my makeup aesthetic it is literally the opposite of my makeup aesthetic but it just intrigues me uh how people can justify nothing <laughs> for like 30 to 50 pound it does baffle me quite a lot i'm not gonna lie it really really does um but obviously if we were all the same the world would be very boring wouldn't it so yeah let me know in the comments a luxury makeup and i'm talking like 50 pound plus that you are like loving you couldn't live without, you would recommend to a friend because yeah, I guarantee I could find a dupe. Guaranteed, guaranteed. Talking of like my no buy and things like that, it's actually been going really, really, really well. Like I don't even think about buying makeup anymore, which is incredible. Um, I go out into town. I don't even feel the need to like peruse Superdrug or Boots anymore which is like Sephora Ulta in, in the UK. Just thought I'd put that out there. Um, yeah, I don't even feel the need to like go in and like have a look anymore. It's just, it's really freeing. 
it's really freeing because I just don't care. <laughs> I don't really browse Instagram for like trend mood and stuff anymore either. Um, I just kind of, I don't know, I have kind of unlocked, no, locked that part of my brain. That's the word for it. Why do I have these little tufts? I'd love to know that. Look at these. They're so fit and sexy and wow. But yeah, I'm just learning to live and vibe and love the makeup that I have. And I've never had an expensive collection and I'm, I'm happy with it. I like it. I think maybe the only like really expensive thing and even like this is from my, how, how, what's the word? This is my version of super expensive. Like the pastel roses, duochrome and multi-chromes, they can be expensive. <laughs> they can be like, I think up to 20 pound each. That is ridiculous to me. Like 20 pound for a single eyeshadow, a lot. But like, I can kind of justify that kind of like I've never personally bought one of their like super expensive shadows I always stick to their kind of mid-range stock but yeah that is something that I can kind of understand like super interesting unique things like that but like a peach blush that's patchy mm, no <laughs> I have noticed something very interesting over the past few weeks and that is, my lights make everything look green. Like my coffee looks green. Can you, I don't really wanna spill it. You won't be able to see it. My coffee looks green under these lights. This contour looks green under the light, bronzer. Sorry, I should say, get it right. It looks green. My teeth look very green. I think that's what it is. I think I've cracked it. So many people always comment that my teeth look really green. Um, it's these lights and I don't really know what it is about the lights, but they do make everything look green and um, yeah So I'm not unhygienic. I do brush my teeth to some of the people that were saying please brush your teeth um, A that's really rude <laughs> and B I do um, It's it's these lights. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on Maxi he is a lot better, uh, obviously. He has been diagnosed with cancer in his chest, so that's great. Um, but he's on steroids, he's on the roids now. He's a gym lad, um, and they make him a lot better. Like, within like a day, he was barking at me, as usual. <laughs> Uh, he was, you know, running around. He was a lot happier within like a day. But obviously it's, it is like a temporary fix. So it's just kind of like a waiting game, which sucks so much because words cannot describe how much I love that dog. Like I was journaling last night and I was just like, the amount of times I wrote, I love that dog is a little bit overwhelming. Um, but I love that dog. <laughs> What can I say? I do. He is my world. I'm sorry, I'm trying to reach for a powder puff. There we go, got it. Also, comment down below, okay? Homework, comment down below. What project plan do you wanna see me do? Like extra one? Because like obviously I do a lot, but I'm going to be off uni soon and I'm gonna have a lot more free time. So I'm thinking of maybe picking up a few more project pans. Um, yeah, just cause I'll have time to do them. I'll have time to do my makeup and actually do, look, like actually think about my makeup in the mornings. Like I won't just be doing a brown in the crease and then like running out. Like I'll actually have time to think about things and you know, use products that like I need to use for projects. So let me know down below if there's a specific project plan that you have wanted me to do, um, I'll look into it because I'm thinking, like I've got a list of project plans that have interested me and that I really want to start doing. Uh, the Build Your Own Palette, Pan That Palette that Jessica Lee's doing. Like I, 
not to like brag but like I wanted to do something like that before it even came out in the Fantastic Ladies chat um but then I also wanted to do my modern renaissance and I didn't think that I could do both at the same time maybe I'm just gonna do it because I'm a rebel just do it you know does that mean like I could possibly get very very burnt out and overwhelmed yeah and I'm a little a little nervous for that but you know what you only live once don't you and I want to like focus on a lot of my single shadows because I've been saying this for so long but my single shadows do get neglected a lot and there are some beautiful like duochromes and just beautiful colours in general in my single shadow collection and they just get neglected and it's really quite sad. So yeah, I do want to use my single shadows a lot more and I was looking for like a project to really include them in. Um, I have included them in my pan those eyeshadows. So one of my pan those eyeshadows is always a single shadow and I have incorporated them into my no pan left behind project pan so i do have a little six pan in there as well of singles but like i don't know i just i want them to be loved because i have so many of them and they're just kind of chilling i'm just using cypress umber by the way in my brows it's what i use every day in my brows i just run it through nothing special really that's it <laughs> and that is my whole brow routine just throw some eyeshadow in there and you'll be fine. I've actually really started to love my Pan That Face palette. I was really worried about two shades in particular. I was gonna say in general, but that's not the right, not, not the right one. Um, two shades in particular I was quite worried about, but like, ooh, I have really started loving them. I have, I have good feelings about this Pan That Face palette. I update that project kind of middle of the month. So if you were wondering about that, um, I will link my last update in the cards if you were wondering about it. I'm obviously not gonna show it on camera today because a bit of a spoiler. I mean, not really because I've kind of just filmed it. Has it been half a month already? No, it can't have been. It cannot have been. I refuse to believe that, but um, yeah. I won't, I'm not going to show it on camera just because it may, you know, may deter some people of watching the next update and I don't want to do that. But yeah, I'm just very quickly going to run through my blush. I'm using my Beauty Bay Peachy. I am trying to finish it. <sighs> like, I'm going to show it. I'll show it. Why not? This is what it looks like. It has been repressed once and I thought that after repressing it, it was going to fly by and just like go within a few months but um yeah I was very much mistaken with this because I think it's been repressed all year I'm I think I repressed it maybe at the end of vlogmas or the start of January no it was the start of January I repressed it and it looks exactly the same so yeah a little bit worrying a little bit but we're okay we're keeping on keeping on Alrighty then, I'm just using the highlighter from my Pan That Face palette. It is the highlighter uh, from last year's Pan That Face palette. And what do I have in my brow? There we go. I've been using the same highlighter, no joke, for, I don't know, a year, pretty exclusively. I cannot wait for this to be finished so I can actually use another highlighter. Oh my god. <laughs> I've forgotten that other highlighters exist. It's mad. Right, this is going away for now. I've got a very itchy nose, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's continue with the eyes. I'm just gonna use what's left of the black on my brush. I'm not taking any extra product. I'm just gonna bring it down. That's definitely too far down. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, this has turned into a bit of a May Day situation. Um. Don't look, you know what? I'm doing great, okay? It looks great. <laughs> Stop judging me. You know what, it's fine. With lashes, we'll look beautiful again. It's always the lower lash line that gets me. I always put way too much on the lower lash line. 
Okay, I'm gonna do my lashes uh, and then come back, uh, get dressed, because I'm still in my onesie, and then, uh, yeah, I'll come right back and we'll round this video off, so I'll see you in a sec. Okay then, I'm back. I'm feeling quite whimsical, quite, I don't know. I'm hoping it's coming off on camera, but like this ice stream is just so beautiful and I actually added some of this on top. This is my collection Glam Crystals in the shade Cosmic Stars. It's just like a, a kind of liquid glitter, but it's got the same colors as I stream. It's like that purple, blue, pink shift. So my eyes look extra shimmery, sparkly today. Can we get a good look at them? I'm not sure, hang on, hang on, hang on. Turn this light off. Can you still not see it? Livid. You can kind of see it, not really. Um, I'm determined now to get you to see this. Here you go. There we are. So yeah, this is what my eyes are looking like. I've literally got my phone torch. The things I do for you guys, I go to lengths. It's unbelievable how hard it is to show certain things on camera. But here we are, here we are. <laughs> in real life, it looks great. In real life, it looks very whimsical, very shimmery, very sparkly. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this turned up. I'm really glad that I got to play with some colorful makeup today because I needed it. Definitely because I was stuck in a neutral rut because I was rushed off my feet and I was stressed. I used Colourpop Dream Day on my lips. It's in a project pan. Um, yeah, not really much else to say. Let me know what you feel about luxury makeup and this kind of trend. Do I feel the same as you? Do you have some luxury faves that you can't live without? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this look? Are you gonna recreate it? If you do, tag me in it as always. I love seeing your looks. And yeah, I'm going to go and film another video because I am very behind on work and I'm a little bit stressed. I am a little bit stressed. So I'm gonna go film. Um, you'll probably see this look again soon. And yeah, this is where I'm gonna love you and leave you. If you did enjoy this video, like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for all your support over the past week or so with Max. It genuinely means the world to me. I know I say that in every video, but hand on heart, it really means the world. So thank you all so much. Uh, yeah, have an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow for a new video. Bye.